Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, October 8th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 748, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Fox Spirit matchmaker Wang Quan announces Cheng Yi and Li Yitong as their leads. Johnny Huang says he can't quite do costume dramas. Tiffany Tang gets injured on set. And Chao Yun Fat gets awarded Asian Filmmaker of the Year at Busan. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week, as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. The Heart, starring Mark Chow, Rachel Mao, and Jing Zijia, premiered yesterday, October 7th. This is the poster they shared to announce passing 2.21 million reservations on Weibo and Tencent combined. In the medical drama, Mark Chow is the deputy chief physician of cardiology at a hospital. He is strict and disciplined, and a stark contrast to Jing Sejia, an outspoken and impulsive doctor whom he has to partner with. Rachel Mao is Mark's sister, who becomes a doctor at the ICU. The Heart is slated for 38 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Wraps and bootings now. Reblooming Blue, the upcoming modern romance drama starring Victoria Song and Vic Cho, shared photos from their rap on October 4th. Here are the two stars with their rap bouquets. Here is the cast and crew with the customary cake, drinks, and overhanging red banner. Filming lasted for about two months. Here the two stars are pictured on either side of director Li Ang at the booting ceremony in early July. Victoria last starred in the drama Warm and Sweet, which came out earlier this year. Vic Cho, on the other hand, his last starring role was in the 2021 Taiwanese series Danger Zone. According to Douban, in Reblooming Blue, Victoria Song is a girl who works hard in the big city but returns to her hometown due to unemployment. Vic Cho is her boss who also encounters unprecedented setbacks. In order to turn things around, he goes to her hometown in search of an investment legend who lives there in seclusion. Blooming Blue is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Lastly now for drama updates, Fox Spirit matchmaker Wang Quan has announced its lead duo. Wang Quan is the third chapter of the Fox Spirit matchmaker series, and earlier today they shared this poster to announce Cheng Yi and Li Tong as their leads. Cheng Yi starred in one of the hit wuxia dramas of the summer, Mysterious Lotus Casebook, and also headlines the currently streaming South Wind Knows. Li Yitong is also in a currently streaming drama, Spy Game, that airs its finale tomorrow. In Wang Quan, Cheng Yi is Wang Quan Fu Gui, who according to this character breakdown, is a young genius from a family of powerful Taoist soldiers. But he has no freedom and yearns for the outside world shown to him by Qing Tong, played by Li Yitong. However, Qing Tong is actually a spy trying to get intel on the Wang Quan family. The character breakdown is not official, it's just something that's been circulated online and has been posted on some drama sites. But if the drama were to follow it, then shades of My Journey to You perhaps, with the female spy and the powerful family and all that. Anyway, now the leads of all three Fox Spirit Matchmaker series have been made official, the other two being Yang Mi and Simon Kung for Yue Hong, and Cecilia Liu and Leon Zhang for Zhu Ye. There is a rumor online that Yue Hong will be doing reshoots in mid-October and the stars of the other two chapters will make guest appearances. Fox Spirit matchmaker Wang Quan is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. More updates on it as they provide them. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates and today we begin with Johnny Huang who recently revealed that he can't quite do costume dramas. The 30-year-old actor recently did an interview with entertainment host Little Bull, and in it, he spoke about costume dramas and other genres. Little Bull began with, Everybody saying military dramas are not Johnny Huang's comfort zone, they are his dominant zone. To which Johnny responded with a bit of modesty, and then conceded, They're right, they're right. After sharing a laugh, Johnny explained, 
Having filmed this kind of stuff all the time, many of its habits are engraved in my body, like the way you talk to a leader, salutations, etc. Plus, I like being this type, so maybe it looks more natural. Conversely, for costume dramas, Johnny revealed, I can't quite do them. I especially can't do the makeup. I keep getting the feeling there's something on my face, and I won't dare touch it. Johnny has only had a handful of brief appearances in ancient garb in dramas. One was in Demon Girl Season 2, and the other was in flashback scenes with Victoria Song in Moonshine and Valentine. Johnny was then asked about campus dramas, to which he said he was too old for. Quote, This brother is 30-something years old. If I did campus dramas, people would find it objectionable. Unquote. Johnny currently stars as a firefighter in Bright Eyes in the Dark, which was last week's number one web drama. It also aired its ending a couple of days ago. Johnny made his drama debut with the 2016 boys love themed drama Addicted. Since then, he's done numerous dramas and movies where he plays men in uniform, like Operation Red Sea and Ace Troops. Next up for celebrity updates, Tiffany Tang recently suffered an injury on set. On October 5th, Tiffany Tang Studio took to Weibo with this message to say, While filming A Moment But Forever, Tiffany injured her ankle. She was promptly sent to the hospital and received treatment. Please do not worry. A Moment But Forever also released a statement, one of apology. They explained that the accident happened because of issues with the location. They elaborated that team doctors and crew members attended to Tiffany immediately and sent her to the hospital. Her condition is now stable. They expressed their apologies to Tiffany and stated that they would review and take steps to ensure the safety of cast and crew members. A Moment But Forever is an upcoming costume drama that the 39-year-old actress stars with Liu Xueyi. They announced the drama on August 10th and are currently still filming. Lastly now for our celebrity updates, Chow Yun-Fat received an honor at the Busan International Film Festival. The 68-year-old Hong Kong screen legend was awarded Asian Filmmaker of the Year. Korean actor Song Kang-ho of the Oscar-winning movie Parasite presented Chow Yun-Fat the award on October 5th. The festival organizers prepared a special program in focus, Chow Yun-Fat True Colors of a Hero, where folks could revisit his representative works and discover some of his new ones. A son of Hong Kong, Chow Yun-Fat gave his acceptance speech in Cantonese and was translated into Korean and English. He spoke a little about his journey and thanked TVB, the Hong Kong film industry, his wife, the Busan Film Festival, his Korean fans, and capped it all off with a selfie. In a press conference, Chow Yun-Fat spoke about many things, one of which was his finances. In 2018, he was reported as saying that he would donate his entire fortune, estimated at the time at 700 million US dollars, to charity. Asked about it at the press conference, he responded that it was his wife's idea, which got a chuckle from those present. I don't want to donate it. I worked hard to get it, he continued. Every month, I only get a few thousand dollars allowance. But that's okay. I came into this world with nothing. When I die, I won't leave with anything. These are not my things. If anybody in this world wants them, needs them, they can have them. On a more serious note, Chow Yun-Fat praised the rise of South Korean cinema, saying that its greatest strength lies in its freedom to explore different genres and themes. He said that, comparatively, in Hong Kong, filmmakers face many restrictions that they have to pay attention to if they want to break into the lucrative mainland market. Replying to a reporter in English, he said that despite that, Hong Kong filmmakers still, quote, do their best to make movies with that Hong Kong spirit, unquote. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, Edition 192, October 8th, 2023. 
The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. Tiger and Crane The costume drama stars Jiang Long and Zhang Linghe Number 9. Mysterious Lotus Casebook The costume drama stars Cheng Yi, Joseph Cheng, and Ero Xiao Number 8. My Journey to You The costume drama stars Esther Yu and Zhang Linghe Number 7. Stand By Me The modern drama stars Angel Zhao and Bai Yufan Number 6. I Am Nobody The modern drama stars Peng Yichang and Neo Ho Number 5. Faithful The costume drama stars Janice Wu and Li Jiahang Number 4. South Wind Knows The modern drama stars Cheng Yi and Zhang Yixi Number 3. Hilarious Family The costume drama stars Liu Ling and Jackie Lee Number 2. Parallel World The modern drama stars Nini and Bai Yu And number 1. Bright Eyes in the Dark The modern drama stars Johnny Huang and Zhang Jingyi Bright Eyes in the Dark is champion for a second week running It garnered 569 points Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Upstream, the modern drama stars Li Wenhan and Xu Jiao. Number 9, Winter and Lion, the military drama stars Du Chuan and Wang Ziqi. Number 8, A Long Way Home, the modern drama stars Zhang Wanyi and Guo Tao. Number 7, The Eve, the Republican era drama stars Oh Hao and Zhang Huiwen. Number 6, Against the Light, the modern drama stars Zhang Hanyu and Lyric Lan. Number 5, Love in the Green Mountains, the modern drama stars Li Jian and Zhu Rui. Number 4, Sunshine by My Side, the modern drama stars Xiao Chan and Bai Bai He. Number 3, My Precious, the modern drama stars Huang Zitao and Rain Wang. Number 2, Spy Game, the modern drama stars Han Geng and Wei Daxun. And number 1, Alliance, the modern drama stars Zhang Xiaofei and Huang Xiaoming. Alliance ends the week with 601 points, making it champion for a second week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys Tuesday when I talk about, among other things, opening Douban ratings. A few drama got theirs. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.